Hello, welcome to the Southern Vermont Art Center. Our show is entitled Harmonic Resonance Return to the Mythic. I'm Terry Houtman, and I'm sharing this exhibit with Hugh Jowdry, the renowned sculptor. We lived in Southern Vermont for 40 years on and off in the pine forests, drawing on mythic inspiration from the trees and bridging cultures into the mythic realm of vision. It's a very visionary exhibit, was very well received for the opening night because it's so joyful and it bridges cultures into a great celebration. I've been painting 40 foot songline scrolls, which you'll see here, and I believe they blend beautifully with the bronze, wood, and marble sculptures of Hugh. So I'd like to begin with an opening poem for Frida Kahlo, Wild Sister. You growl at the yucca, you hide out in the tundra, you gallop through the pampas, you carry death winds wide open in the darkness, you wear a necklace of blood flowers, your mesa voice hollering in snake root hoots and drums, you are the wolf woman clutching roses. Your eyes crafty with witchcraft gnaw on tombstones. You sulk in barrios. Your faraway grin stabs sunsets. In willow of underground rivers, you ride out from the sun-baked womb. Blind in the dry heat of monkeys, you suckle the belly of beasts. You ride out on the mountains, ghosting the foothills, the half-moon bent on destruction. Carry small birds in your rattleboard ribcage, erratic as jackals, dance salsa in shadows. You are the dog rose rooting herself in dust. Inside the shadows, chewing cactus, chewing sticks. Ecstasy, the fierce light clutching santos, anger pulled off, childless yourself, the mother of us all painting a tyranny of sunsets, your heart a blood cocoon pierced with a twig. I stroke your starry palette, paint retablo steel blue fluting your bones. You fling yourself on your bed of bees, scorched in the open your womanhood. You growl at the yucca, you hide out in the tundra. You gallop through the pampas, you carry death winds wide open in the darkness, sing corridos for la raza, fleshing a portrait, sister, where the blood wind drips your name. Poetry is the heart, the heartbeat of the people. I believe that the metaphors in this exhibit drawing people back into the mythic, this painting here, which is called Kira's Song. It was an invocation to my daughter, Kira, who is from Guatemala, and it's a very important painting for me. It's, it's a spiritual painting. It's an, it was a, a gift of love and an invocation for uh, when I welcome my daughter. It also fits into the autumn beauty of this exhibit. And um, I love the passionate colors and the corn goddesses and Mayan motifs. This painting, I love the elliptical spin, the movement, which circles and spirals have always inspired my work. Um, I, I was, in the beginning, very inspired by Celtic manuscripts. I love the, the knots of the Book of Kells and so I've always drawn on the circle and the spiral but what I particularly love about this painting is the elliptical burst of color which isn't exactly centered but just tipped enough um, to feel the Cordillera presence and there are figures dancing. I think when you walk into the beautiful space you see this burst of uh, celebration, which we very much need in this world. And this one to the left here, 
maybe more a dragon double spiral twist also where color takes you into the dance. Uh, a big invitation of roses bursting forward and the flames of life. I would like to mention Hugh Jowdy's Tackler here um, because this is one of my favorite pieces of uh, Hughes that is uh, carved out of Vermont wood and she is the mythic guardian presence uh, who's given us a lot of trickster energy through the seasons and I love the way she looks with the paintings. So the title piece for this exhibit is, uh, is called The Singing of the Soul is the Nature of Art Herself. And here we have the, this 40-foot song line scroll, which is rolled on both ends. Uh, to me, there's a lot that's concealed. Um, and some of the beauty is in what's, what isn't revealed. So I tried to reveal some, a passionate dance of, of colors, of bridging um, Aymara culture, bridging African American, bridging Guatemalan culture with Jewish uh, Kabbalistic, so it's a Kabbalistic song line school with the Hebrew letters of light coming through. And it's really a metaphor for how light travels through the body. I'm a poet for 40 years. Um, one of my books on hearing thunder has this painting on the front and back covers and there are beautiful color plates in the book. But what I'm known for in my poetry is my rhapsodic reading that's very lyrical and metaphoric. And I think that the poetry informs the painting, so I'd encourage people to take a look. My newest book, which just came out this week, The Indwelling of Dissonance, which actually harkens back to Kira's song uh, on the cover. I would like to pause to read the opening poem in my newest book which is dedicated to my daughter, Kira. Her poem is called Destiny. Let the wind carry your soul through the path of destiny. There are two paths, but you have to choose only one. You will always choose the right one. The one on the left side is creativity. The one on the right side is wisdom. In between is your heartbeat. Meditate. Relax, find your center. Choose the mind to levitate the wishing stone. I choose the heartbeat. So we have the dancers, we have the bursts of women energy. I like the tactile quality of this piece because it has smaller song line rolls, uh, scrolls of diaspora, the camel music, which this abstract notation actually um, is an abstract musical song and pieces of prints that are stitched in and the Kabbalistic tree of life. And I, I have left in the exhibit scrolls that are very sculptural, just unscrolled because I was selecting a kind of elegant beauty and have many, many scrolls that I could hang from the ceiling. So I decided to invite you into some of the scrolls and how they look in their sculptural element. So I'd like to come into this sacred uh, spot. This is called a camel scroll. It's a piece about diaspora and uh, migrations, which if you really do have the opportunity to read my poetry, you'll feel the pulse of different tribes um, moving into safety and a new life. And so this is a wood block that's hand stitched um, and sc scrolls out probably to twice this size, showing the abstract music of the soul. And 
I like the top scroll, which is Aleph, first letter in the Hebrew alphabet, with the dancers uh, moving through the musical notation. Um, and of course, it's invoking a Torah scroll. Uh, an etching with aqua tint. It was originally um, an addition that was etched on a copper plate. The plates themselves, like the wood blocks, I have many for future exhibits. The blocks themselves are so beautiful, and I love the copper plates. Uh, viewers see different things. I myself see a, a, a kabuki mask with seven dancers coming out of the forest, but I was watching people on the opening night say they saw a, a mountain lion from the mane of the ferns, and that's the beauty, that people can bring their own spirits into the pieces and you see what you see. Well, I'd like to introduce you to Walking Woman, who Walking Woman is cast in bronze. Hugh Jowdry cast her at the Johnson um, Atelier, which is in Princeton, New Jersey. I love that when, I, when you enter the gallery, you see the beautiful cathedral-like light, and you have Walking Woman uh, as the central spirit. And I love that the elliptical Cordillera is right behind her. Well, I was so struck by the stunning wall. And so I decided to hang some vertical pieces that just seem to resonate so beautifully. Um, so you have the black horizontal bands and then you have these uh, large horizontal pieces. Uh, the first piece, I, I think it's best if you bring your own metaphor to it, but as it is a, an ecstatic autumn piece, it's so wonderful to have that as a central vertical scroll for uh, autumn and honoring indigenous peoples day that we now have in Vermont. Then I have two blue scrolls balancing that out. The first one on the right, which is a Kabbalistic songline vertical scroll, um, which I think has its own radiance uh, and beautiful simplicity. And then the title piece, which is the scroll um, on our announcing our exhibit, Harmonic Resonance, uh, to the left. Hugh has his panels of transformation and alchemy, magical storytelling, and he probably could guide you through the essence of what each piece represents and how they undulate on the wall. Here we have Blues Woman and Mountain Deer. It's an incarnation of the simpler woodcut. This is a multiple block woodcut that has the West Wardsboro deer in the forest and the very gorgeous and abstract women playing the tenor sack. I love the slash and burn aspect of wood carving. You can get a very uh, expressive line. It's different than the refined etching of the edges of the inner circle. We're, we're also graced with several marble pieces of hues. This is a mixed media painting, processional, which was inspired in New Mexico. I have many manuscript pages. As I said earlier, I was in my earliest becoming very inspired by the Book of Tales and other manuscripts, and I would do my own poetic manuscript pages. This one's called The Serpent Swims in Desire, and this one is a trickster piece, which is Pas de Deux, uh, which is a dance of two. 
I'm at the Southern Vermont Art Center in the Wilson Museum. Our exhibit, Harmonic Resonance, Return to the Mythic, will be present until December 11th. So please come in and enjoy and dance with the energy in this beautiful space. On the left side of the sanctuary here, um, honoring Hugh's piece entitled Heartbeat, and I think that that is the resonance you feel. At least I was told that from visitors on opening night, said this is a big heartbeat. The piece behind me is a large scroll that honors um, my daughter Kira and Guatemalan musicians singing the colors of the soul. Home I'd like to read Hot Off the Press from the Indwelling of Dissonance is um, called Neither the Hero Nor the Coward. Because this, this exhibit is about unity and peace and the dance of life that, how we restore the sparks of life together. And uh, this is kind of an, an anti-war poem. Neither the hero nor the coward. Did birds fly out like refugees when the earth trembled from bombs? Did turtles swim to shelter? Did the spiders, the dream keepers of humanity, spin a gossamer web as a reminder of the fragility of life? In the firelight of grief, in the firelight of song, in the revenge cycle of shock and awe? Did the ants hungry for peace spin crazy in the desert of fire, sand, and burned out stars? The moment I saw the Lost Tribe's arsenal, I became a myth. No telurics of the Lost Tribe could save me. I fell down with the phoenix on the belly of promise where language lies. I fell down with the snake licking pollen in subterranean gardens and woke up in the promised land, chewing garlic in the old souks, dancing backwards in the dark. How shall I cry? How shall I cry out? On the road to Tel Aviv in the time of no shadow, I met a girl pinning down her wings to pray, bring forth life force, salt, clove, breath. Thank you so much. We're also going to be giving a poetry reading and a mythic talk. Uh, that would be Hugh Jowdry and Terry Helpman. Sunday, November 6th at 3 p.m. at the Wilson Museum.